Hello everybody, welcome back to Besiege! We're in stage... something or the other. <laughs> it's an old mining site, and it looks like we need to steal and deliver two iron ore to this spot. So we gotta knock that off, push it over, and just push that one over. Hmm, how exactly do we want to go about doing this today? I think it'd be cool if we could make some sort of, like, piston. Because I know you can extend blocks to kind of punch that over. So I think we're gonna try and focus on that first. I'm just gonna real quickly... Build our little base. Oh, excuse you, Cormac. <laughs> Don't know if you heard that, but the pooch just sneezed right next to me. Alright. We're just gonna build a real simple base design. Probably make it nice and square, just so it's small and maneuverable. Okay, so we got that. We can steer on over and try and just push this one in. This is gonna be an easy, easier one. The harder one is gonna be... <clears throat> excuse me. Knocking down that other block. There we go. So, oh, we actually did it. Okay, that was real easy. Now, let's see. What is the... Approximate height, so maybe just two double. Well, ah, stupid intersection. Okay, translate. Down you go. Let's throw another block up there, and I want to see how these pistons work. So it's H to extend. So if we do like that, press H. Okay, yeah. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so let's try this out. Let's head on over here. Just try and line it up. Okay, don't want to break my own wheels because that's what I kept doing last time. Hey, and H. Ah, so close. Oh wait, there she goes. Haha. -ha. Done. And now we can go get this guy. Can I marry you? Oh, oh, oh! I thought I broke the wheel for a second. And done. Easy enough. Let's move on. <laughs> I just space, but it allows you to move on anyway, so we're good. Stop. That was on standing stone. So we have to destroy that guy. Oh, that's easy. We'll just go up here and... And, uh, bam. <laughs> just kind of smack it around. <laughs> Come here, you. Oh, no. That didn't work. <laughs> Alright. That clearly was not ever going to work. Okay, let's look ahead and uh, Z to delete. No, X to delete. There we go. No, what the hell? Yeah, X. Oh, we hit X. Okay, I was X and click. Duh. Okay. Let's raise that up a little more. You know what would be cool if we could... I feel like we should try and make a catapult right now. Or like some sort of trebuchet. We're going to work on that. Okay, let's extend this guy a little bit, just to make it a little more stable, and a little stronger. Just because that stupid tower will be shooting at us, like the little jerk it is. Okay, locomotion. Um, actually, we're going to destroy those. I'll have to re-key map those. And we'll put that back there, and there. Uh, go ahead and remap that one's so right, left. And right, left, so that should be, oops, forgot to put wheels on it. <laughs> A doy. Okay, all good there. Now let's see, how can we go back making a catapult? I'll probably have to tinker with it a little bit and cut back to you guys once I have it nice and figured out. Okay, so I actually quickly wanted to show you guys, I found this piece. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hinge, here we go. Now I want to know if there's a way to change the angle. Cause so that that's hinging. That's exactly what we wanted to do. So then when I put these here, okay. So that's looking good. I'll probably put a block there as well. And now I know under weaponry they have uh, this holder, so we'll place that there. And the bomb should be able to place there. Oh, yeah, well that's going to be a bit of an issue, isn't it? I wonder if we can use like a remote grenade instead. So now we just need a way to pull this down. Okay, how do we fire the remote grenade? Okay. Bam. Ah, that wasn't that big. Ah, the bomb might be a better bet. If we figure out a way to um, make it go down. <laughs> okay, that actually was easier than I thought. We have these contractible springs here. So now if we press, uh, what, was, what was it? L. It should. Just pull it forward. So that's a catapult. Oop, that broke. Okay, <laughs> we won't do it as violently. Now, there's got to be a way to get this bomb down. 
hard to get this down without... Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, let's see if we can get this to work first try. Okay, and... L. Oh! Did it shoot it out of the air? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, not, not nearly close enough. Okay, let's try and move it so it, it should just be able to go straight at it, right? And then, oh! Bam! There we go! Let's check that out again in slow motion. Uh, let's slow it down. 24% should be good. Go forward. And... L! Even slower. And look at it go, flying through the air, straight and true. Oh man. That was, oh wait, it's not gonna hit it? Oh my god. Just at the base. Good job, catapult. I even want to do that again. Just go straight and... Boink! <laughs> oh, that's cool. Alright, let's go ahead and move on. What is the next challenge? Thin side fort. We destroy 40% of this. Let's see, can we just use that? Wow. Oh man. This catapult just is the best. <laughs> um No, let's just not do just this for this design. Well, there's there's no point in just being content with that. Might as well continue to try and expand and improve on this idea. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, I kind of want to make it a dual catapult. So we're going to try that. Hopefully it'll work just fine. If not, that's okay. We'll get over it. Let's add those. So this whole tall structure needs to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wide. So we have 1, 2, 3... Including that's so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that should work perfectly. Right? How many is in there? There's three. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, we gotta put these. Uh, let's put that there and up there. Then we're gonna go ahead and put the hinge. That should work just fine. We'll grab the double block again. And we can definitely adjust the range on these things by extending them. Um, shorting them because basically all this is just is just a lever so we have the lever we have the fulcrum right here as Archimedes said give me a lever a big enough lever and a fulcrum to place it and I can move the world Some, something like that Archimedes said trust me google it look it up go read a book stop watching uh stop watching people play video games and go read a book oh wait now that we remove that oh hold on oh no it's fine okay uh, the problem is when the sp uh, s contractual springs aren't there. I was having trouble with this because I didn't know you had to click and drag it, but that makes much more sense. There we go. There we go. And now that should work for both of them. Sweet! Um, now let's go ahead and put the wheels back on. Steering inch here and here. Here and here. Uh, I wonder how how I would arrange... Because um, I'm having to remap these. I'm wondering how would I arrange that with more than one wheel, or more than uh, two sets of wheels. I guess we'll, we'll we'll figure that out when we get to it. Okay, yeah, this thing should be able to drive just fine. It's got a really wide turn. It's it's so wide that the turn radius kind of sucks. But I mean, it's good enough. Don't drop the bombs, please. And just kind of let them settle. I wonder if there's a better way of doing that. There's probably a way to lock these down and then, like, release it. But there we go. Done. God, that's so beautiful. I want to watch it again in slow motion. Boom. Double catapult. Totally unnecessary, but freaking awesome. <laughs> okay, next zone, please. Destroy 9% of everything. Alright. Oh, man, the shooting cannons at us. Yeah, let's just launch these right away. Bam! Okay. Those guys are actually gonna damage my front. Let's see what we got first. So those cannons will shoot out. Those actually hurt 
a little bit. Yeah, those bombs kind of got to them. Hey! Oh man, they shot him in there. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, so we'll have to go. I'm gonna have to let the first volley go, and then launch. Dang, they're still shooting right there. Okay. Well, that's gonna be tricky to figure out. Or maybe we should just make a whole new machine. No, I'm liking the the catapult. We'll just keep that working. We'll just have to make it a little better to defend so we can uh, take out that camp. So we'll try and um, kill these guys and then we'll use the catapult to try and take out the camp. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay, we're just going to have to make this much, much stronger. In parts, I think it would help if we took some weight off. So if we put another wheel back here, or another set of wheels... Steering hinge, steering hinge. Should help stabilize it quite a bit. And, let's see. There's got to be a way to lock these down. Decoupler. Ah, uh, that would only be good. What if we did this? What if... Okay, I'm going to try something. This isn't really relevant to what we're doing right now. Well, I guess it is. If it works, it'll be relevant. Can I delete that, please? Thank you. I wish when you were deleting the blocks, it highlighted them. So you know you're doing the right one. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, sure, right there works. There and there. And we'll remap these to, like, Q. Now we start, we should be able to- oh, shit, okay. Uh, it doesn't really lock them down like I wanted it to. Okay, yeah, it's not quite working. Because I was hoping it would, like, hold them down in place. And then release it. I could try, like, the decouplers. So how exactly does that work? Hmm. Nah, it's fine for now. That's- that's the least- one of the- one of the least of our worries right now. Oh, we do need is some armor. So I say we're going to make like a little wall right here. Uh, I hope it just doesn't get too heavy up in the front. There. And we can do like wooden panels. So I think those are lighter, I don't know. It'll just make it look kind of cool. Hopefully, they'll, actually, maybe we should make those metal to try and defend against that cannon. Let's try that. What am I deleting? I'm deleting the wrong stuff. Dang it. So heat plus pierce resistance. Sure, we'll just throw them up there. See if those do well against the cannon. Yeah, okay, those seem to do much, much better. But now we gotta add more wheels, because we got a whole bunch of weight in the front. Uh, da, 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 steering hinge. Steering hinge. Powered wheels. Powered wheels. Okay, yeah, those should be just fine. Oh, shit, what the hell? Those guys are, those are pretty inconsistent to when they're shooting. I feel like I should do the same thing every time. Hyah! Oh, they'll consistently shoot? Okay, I thought they just shot once. So it would be best if we could just immediately try and get past them. Oh, never mind, they actually turn and shoot. Damn it, well that complicates things. I did not know... That they were capable of doing that. That makes things a bit more complicated. Let's go ahead and continue to build this up. Ah, sure. Why not? We'll just put those there. Try and defend the inner workings. Alright, uh, the problem is those arrows are going to shoot the bombs. 
<laughs> yeah, everything's just gonna fall apart. Um, we should probably go ahead and just strengthen the inside here, because there's a lot of weight going on those joints, and hopefully this will help us distribute that weight. In my mind, it works, you know. <laughs> it's not outside the realm of possibilities. I need to figure out if it's stronger, because I'm using the double ones because it's kind of going into the other blocks. I need to figure out if there's an actual advantage to that. Or if I'm just crazy. Crazy for Cocoa Puffs. Also, these wheels are kind of all messed up. Okay, those middle ones. Let's see, do these need to be remapped? Or not the middle ones, the front ones, sorry. I'm just thinking to myself. Uh, well, maybe. You know what I'm thinking? Okay, we'll just delete all these. I might be overthinking this. I don't think I need steering columns on all of them. Only like the front ones. So if we do steering hinge there, and there. Motor wheels, motor wheels. And then like motor wheels there. And then we just have these one block sticking out. Back to the wheels. Oh, what is that puppy doing behind me? He's on my bed plane. <laughs> Uh, how well does that work? So we turn. You know, it works good enough. I'm thinking the catapult might not be the best idea for this one. <laughs> Just because it's kind of making us explode. Like, immediately. So otherwise, we can just kind of break through stuff. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and save this design. We'll just call this cat. And then we'll just leave that. We, we, ha we have a good base going though, so everything else appears to be working just fine. Uh, but now we need to add some stuff to deal with these jerks. So maybe like... I like these metal spikes, those are pretty cool. Some metal spikes. Uh, maybe some cannons. Well, we can do like a shrapnel cannon up front. Let's just do that to deal with these guys. So the shrapnel cannon, we fire that with C. Regular cannon with C. Okay, so the shrapnel cannon. Well, I should go ahead and remap that. To like Q. So now we should be able to do like Q. And then C. And the spikes should just be able to cut through people, right? So let's test those out. Ooh, yeah, those do real well. Good job. Try and just sneak sneak on through here. But now we're too wide. <laughs> Cause now that wheel's just kind of breaking off. Excuse me. Excuse me. Don't mind me. Oh, we're stuck. What are we stuck on? Q. Let's see. Okay, so I decided the whole catapult idea wasn't the best for this one, just because it was too wide and necessary. So we're going to go back to basics and just build up from here. Because so, I kept getting stuck on those uh, cannons up there. So it wasn't really necessary to be that big. Uh, let's try and make it a little smaller, but a little more destructive. Nope, don't want that. Okay, we got the base set up. Uh, I feel like we need to protect our wheels, because those are kind of breaking off really easily. So here's what we're going to do. Steering column, steering hinge, steering hinge. I think we're going to like try and... I'm not sure if it'll let me, but we're going to try and build a shell 
around these. So we're kind of going to go up, 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 and up, then over. Because if we can't move, we're, we'll, we're dead in water. There we go. Okay, I'm interested to see if this will actually work. As long as it's not touching the ground as well. Oh, oops, I was like, why isn't that working? There we go. Okay, this is just more of a proof of concept. Actually, let's go ahead and sit on the ground. Sweet, that should work just fine. Even though it's like just as wide as it was. <laughs> Oh well, okay. Uh, let's build this up. Okay, so I'll kind of make it uh, tougher and we'll trick it out. And I'll catch up with you guys uh, once we got that completed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I got it pretty badass looking if you ask me. We got the wheels protected, we got cannons, we got flamethrowers. Actually, there is one thing I wanted to do. Uh, can't remember the shrapnel cannon. We need to change its binding. I'll make that Q. Uh, let's put that block back. Uh, these shrapnel cannons. We're gonna make those different as well, right? Yeah. So I'll make that uh, T. And we have flamethrowers up here too. I forgot what the Binding is for flamethrower. That's why. Okay. Bam. Okay, let's try this. So we go forward. We got our spikes. Those will deal with those guys. We'll go ahead and press C. And T. And we just need to get over. No! <laughs> there was a bomb in my back. Okay, let's just gun it. Go straight forward. Dang it, it's that stupid side I keep getting stuck on. I forgot to remap these. Dang it, I'm too fat still. That's the problem I had earlier. Okay, we'll turn that. Press C. Y. <laughs> uh, I'm too fat. Okay, here we go. This is looking good. This is looking good. C. Y. And bam. There goes our back. Come on. We just need to reach those last damn tents. C. And Y. We just can't get there enough. Let's deal with those. Let's take out that cannon. Let's try and take out that cannon. Let's see if we'll be able to do that. See. Oh wait, no. Uh, why? No. Oh, that was what that shrapnel cannon was. Dang it. Oh, uh, is the front of us on fire? Oh no, that's just that cannon. Okay. There we go. Took him out. But now we're on fire. Okay, let's just run over that cannon. Take that guy out. Oh, we're breaking apart here. We're breaking apart. Just gotta keep going. Just gotta keep going. Take out those stupid arrows. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. And Q! Dang it, God! We're so close! Okay. Just take out that cannon. Try and straighten ourselves. Go face this guy head on. See, there we go. Took out a couple archers as well. Fantastic. Nope, we're going the wrong way, guys. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go around this mountain. <laughs> no! 
God! Why is this so difficult? Straighten out. There we go. Ah, oh, we lost that. Come on, let's go run these guys over. There we go. <laughs> we can't reach it. God damn. Okay, added a bunch more cannons and some armor. Maybe this will help. It was last a little longer. Let's see. Oh, jeez. What? Why is that making that explode? Hey, you know, we don't need this bomb in the inside. Let's take that out completely. <laughs> it's kind of unnecessary in the grand scheme of things. Damn it. Okay, let's go take that out. Actually, you know what would help? I have an idea. Okay. Gonna add another cannon here. <laughs> We're gonna make those ones just shoot the other cannon. So this will be, um, left shift. Why not? I guess so if we go here, take out that, left shift, take that out, squish these guys, and then we should be able to take out these tents, and finally, at long last, didn't even have to use our flamethrower, <laughs> well that took forever, god damn, alright guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, want to see more besiege in the video, and I'll see you next time, bye.